Hi and welcome to Blender Source. My name is Michael Novello and today I want to create something real simple. Um, I have seen uh, paper artwork on Behance.net and I want to recreate that here in Blender. Uh, first I go into the photographic view and I add a UV sphere and bring down the segments to 8 and the rings to 8 as well. Um, this art I have seen is a, a real low poly, um, let's say in the 3D world it's a low poly art and um, it's a paper craft work someone did and I like the style so that yeah, I wanted to recreate that. So let's copy that real quick and let's see, let's move it over. And now I'm going to cut this in half. So I like the, okay. Check this here, uncheck this and get rid of this vertices here. Now let's, um, let's uh, bring this here just a little bit in by extruding it. Like that. Okay. And again, extrude and bring it to the center. So, like that. And let's face, make a face here. And now I want to have these faces here a little bit inset, like that. And then I going to duplicate these faces and separate them so that we have these ones here and what I do is I extrude this a little bit like that this looks looks good and now let's um, add something else let's add a little small uh, leaf here so I'm going to Let's in the X direction. So bring it over so that we can see what we are doing here. Scale in the Y direction, just a little bit, and make it really, really simple and low poly. So it's, uh, it's a kind of yeah. I, I like the style here. This has nothing to do with reality, so it is absolutely fine. If it's really stylized like that and let's extrude it just a little bit here so we can have it like that and it looks cool and now let's bring it on the top here and rotate it here and scale it down a little bit like that and I think this is is cool. Um, maybe we should bring the pivot point to this end here, like that. So that I can rotate it a little bit around the pivot point, like that. And maybe a little bit up here. Um, at first, let's do something else. Let's select this sphere here and get rid of this vertices here. And let's extrude that, scale it inwards, bring it up, extrude it one more time, bring it in and down. And then extrude it one more time, a little bit inwards, and extrude it and bring it up like that. And let's get it. Let it down and maybe one more extrude here and scale it and make a face here so that we can lift this here a little bit and this uh, this leaf comes out of the stem here. So now, um, yeah, and the modeling is I think nearly finished. Let's make some just one more thing here. Let's get a plane again and let's bring it over like that. 
and scale it in the X and in the Y like that and let's go in there and the edit mode and let's move that in and this one here in as well just like that let's get it down something like that and let's bring it over and one moment i activate the ambient occlusion so that it's a little bit more clear what we are doing here so let's move it up like that and Let's give it a little bit of gem, uh, more geometry so that it has a little bit of thickness here, like that. And let's just get it down a little bit more and just distribute it to some of these here. Uh, nope. And just a second one here. And I think that's it. Okay, now let's select these ones here and make a group out of them and let's rotate it like that and now bring it out of this here and let's search a good camera position um let's rotate it in the set direction one more time like that and let's bring in the camera control alt and zero on the numpad shift f and zoom out like that and go up and i think this is a this is a good position here so you can go with a square uh render but for tutorials the sake of the tutorial and the video i'm going to i'll leave it at the full hd resolution here 9020 to 1080 and now let's create some materials here so let's split this up here this view and um so let's i really quick pause the recording and save this uh, blend file because it takes a little bit longer on my computer i don't know what what is wrong so uh, i make a real quick uh, pause here Okay, I saved it and now let's go to the node editor here and let's go to the material and a new material. Now we have this uh, guys here selected and let's go to the material mode so that we see what we are doing here and let's go with, um, yeah, let's uh, try to recreate it in a stylized form so let's go with a musgrave texture and let's see what we can do with that so let's scale it up a little bit more uh, maybe more 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 like that i think this is okay and now let's add a color ramp here go to converter color ramp bring it in and let's change these colors here let's go full here and let's go with an yellowish orange look here like that and with the whites i'm going to maybe a little bit more let's, uh, let's go with that i think this is cool and now let's go to this little critters here and make them a little bit yellow just a little bit like that and select the others hit the first one control l link the materials and now this here so let's um let's let's make one more loop cut here like that and let's click on that hit control plus on the on your keyboard uh, on your numpad and let's make a new material 
and let's make it really orangey like that and let's assign that to this vertex group and then go to the selection inverse the selection and one more time plus control plus and now let's um, assign the material uh, let's make a new one assign and new material and let's go with the yellowish color here like that this is okay now let's go to the, to the leaf here let's make just the green maybe a little bit darker green like that and now let's, let's go to the orange here and hit control plus here on the numpad so that we can create this material here one more time and yeah that's it new oh let's see um let's go with that material here the same here as let's go with that and call it peel okay um now with that so add a new one and selection universal selection and one more time plus here to select this vertices here assign a new material new and or let's go with the same green color here so like that now i have a little bit more di more materials in here than i need but uh, for now it's it's cool so let's recenter the cursor shift c and let's go into the camera let's add here a plane and oh no uh no but this is i have to tap out into the object mode and again mesh plane and scale it by 10 and now let's add material let's go with the bluish color here because it looks good and there we are and now let's go to the render settings here i click on border because i want to have a preview before i render that let's choose jpeg here so that we don't have to change that afterwards and we go with the full resolution here and let's see i load the, the samples for the preview for the render going with let's go with 15 here and here i click on denoise and now let's add just an environment texture opening and go with uh, like an image like that and now let's add some ambient occlusion a really low value here and uh, let's change the, the light here to a sun lamp use notes and make it a little bit yellowish like that and into the camera view and let's go with the rendered view and let's have a look just a real quick one yeah and that's it's looking really cool yeah and that's it now i'm render, rendering this out and yeah we are finished thanks for watching and i hope you like this short tutorial about a little bit of stylizing artwork so if you like my videos give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel uh, everything helps so thanks for watching bye bye